People from northern Uganda have bitterly attacked President Museveni on the death of their son, that is a Jacob Olanya. This is very serious. We are not going to talk this time. We need an answer from the government. In other news, Jacob Olanya's brother, that is a Francis Omona, has narrated to us his last moments on earth. He could hardly talk and uh, he just responded with lots of tears and he was grieving, he was in deep pain. Oh yes, that and much more is coming to you right now. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before we go to those two stories, the spokesperson of Uganda police, that is Fred Enanga, has advised Ugandans to stop putting resistors when they are attacked by robbers or thugs. Enanga says when you're attacked and they ask you to hand over everything that you have at that moment, please give it to them. But the more you become resistant, the more they also become brutal. So if you don't want to die, make sure you hand over everything that you have at that moment. If they tell you we want your phone, we want the money that you have, we want everything that you have at that moment, please give it to them. That is according to Fred Enanga. Because we don't want you to die. You get, that is the only way you will survive death. <laughs> that is Fred Nanga. But, you know, these Ugandan robbers sometimes, they just kill you. Even when you have handed over everything, they don't want to know. You know, that is the type of robbers we have right here in Uganda. But, yeah, that is uh, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Fred Enanga. In other news, the members of parliament are from northern Uganda are demanding for answers from President Museveni's government. These MPs are questioning why their people from northern Uganda die or become sick after occupying high government positions. For example, Paul Lokech. Yes, General Paul Lokech died last year, and now this year we are burying Jacob Olanya. So these people are questioning that, why is it that after our people joining big positions in parliament or in government, then we face these things of sickness and, you know, death? Why? So they want answers from our President Museveni and his government on why things are happening like that. Right now, as members of parliament from Atoli, we are retreating back to the village. Government should tell us clearly, if we are not worth holding any key position in this government, so that we tell our sons who are still remaining to resign and go back home. We want to see our sons retiring like any other person. We want to see them look after their children, their grandchildren, their grand-grandchildren. We want to see them retiring and be advisors at home. By not attaining a position, you die within a year. This is very serious. We are not going to talk this time. We need an answer from the government before burying our son. Government should explain why is that so specifically for the children who are rising up. We shall go and mobilize our people. We shall come back before burying our sons. Government should explain that. If they fail to explain, they will leave our son in our hand. There is no need of hurrying now. He has already died. Whether in one year, we shall bury him. But we need clear explanation what is going on. I don't know if President Museveni is going to respond to them, but uh, this is something I'm following up and I will definitely keep you posted about it. Now, in other news, Jacob Olanya's brother, that is Francis Omona, has narrated the condition Jacob Olanya was in before he passed on, that is in Seattle. You know, this guy says that um, the doctors in Seattle told him to get back home and prepare for the worst, otherwise Jacob Olanya is not returning to Uganda alive, and indeed, the man is not returning to Uganda alive. This is so sad. Let us listen to Francis Omona as he narrates, you know, the last moments of Jacob Olanya on earth. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you. He could hardly talk and uh, he just responded with lots of tears and he was grieving. He was in deep pain. Uh, then the following day, we went to check on him. He was really not responsive. The doctor there took us through and... Uh, we came knowing he is probably going to live not so long so we were getting prepared and uh, i was coming home to let the family get prepared for the worst and uh, that's it so the time i was getting on the flight we were not hopeful he really wanted to get back to Kampala. actually in his mind he thought we were going to bring him back 
So all along we were saying, what time are we leaving? When we reached there, I introduced myself to him. He noticed me, he noticed his friends, the Chief Justice and Honorable Mao, and he could hardly talk. He just responded with heavy tears. He wanted so much to talk to Mze, but he failed. Because from there you can only get someone on this side when you are on uh, you, you are on a WhatsApp. You can't get a direct call. Mm -hmm. He protected me from school all along. He, he, he's a very, very friendly person. Mm -hmm. He's a mentor and he's a very brilliant person.